It's time for another adventure. As I hike through nature, seeing the sights and sounds of buzzards and birdsong. We explore the grounds of Arlington Court, a grade two listed building on a 10 mile hike that takes us through fantastic forests and foxgloves along the way. We'll take a dip in a refreshing river and walk in the sun, taking in the calming countryside views. Join me on this hike through nature. Enjoy the sounds that the forest has to offer. Uh, welcome back to another video. Today we're off to uh, Arlington Court just for a little update video, a little hike for mental health. And yeah, we're going to be seeing all the sights and sounds, being out in nature. And yeah, it's beautiful out here. Oh, it's hot today. 21, 22 degrees, I think. I'm sweating by the end of it. Lovely down this way. See all the sheep in the shade, hiding from the sun down by the river. Yes, not far from Arlington now. Um, we got, uh, I think it's about a 10K loop or just less than 10K and I'm gonna be heading back. So yeah, Arlington have actually offered the charity Addicts to Athletes um, a free community pass. So if any clients wanna come out for a run or a walk, um, see the wonders of nature, then yeah, we can, we can head up to Arlington for free. Um, so yeah, yeah, check it out. We have actually got, um, a group walk there soon so in late june next month both addicts to athletes and um edp the uh, the drug and alcohol services in barnstable um, have organized a walk up there thanks to uh, kate from arlington court so yeah we're all going to be heading up there taking a minibus organized by ilfracum community transport and yeah it's going to be a good walk in fun day out for, for all the clients Yeah, if you're wondering why there's not been so much content recently, I've been uh, got a new job as a, a support worker, a youth support worker. So currently in training. But yeah, it's a really cool job. I really like it. It's uh, it's not like doing factory work or working on site or anything like that. And literally just helping out the kids that are there and playing pool, playing chess, things like that. Just being just generally supportive, a support worker, I suppose. But yeah, I really enjoy it. There's a buzzed up there, you see. Oh, it looks like we made it. Bottom side of Arlington Court. Let's check it out. There's uh, plenty of buzzards out. Must have seen about 10 on the way here. We could do some trail running out this way, I think.
I never thought I'd become a support work, you know, years ago when you're taking drugs and things like that and drinking, you know, messing up jobs. Never thought I'd have a, you know, clean enhanced EBS, working as a support worker. You know, it's just, uh, you just got to keep at it basically. You know, every time you get out and you're, you're working towards bettering yourself, it all adds up, it all builds up and then you get to that point and it's just, it's just like normal then. And yeah, you can come out, explore the great outdoors. You know, years ago, I'd have been stuck inside a bed sit drinking, you know, doing bad things at this time. So yeah, it's nice just uh, get out, do things, live a normal life, basically. You know, it is possible. So if you're watching this and you're still, still having problems with your addictions or, you know, messing things up, you know, you can sort it out. And it takes as long as it takes like i've been training for two and a half three years now i think and uh you know things are still getting better all the time so you know i've got a lovely girlfriend now got a job uh and i'm just happy you know so and that's what it's all about i think a lot of people take drugs and uh drink to escape from the problems of their life whether that's you know bad relationships or bad housing problems, you know, previous trauma, they're younger, you know, so that's the reason a lot of people take drugs. No one wants to be addicted to drugs, but, you know, it just happens. And then as soon as you start training your mind and doing better things, you realise actually, you know, it is good being away from it. You can have a normal life. Well, I was going to be filming for the, uh, the Maverick Goat event, but it's so hot that day and I thought, doing a half marathon off-road. Uh, I've actually raced it and um, I come fourth out of nearly uh, 200, so really happy of that. No, mum got some clips as well, so. Good job. Yeah, hopefully they've come out all right. I'll drop them into the video. But I've got such a bad toe blister. That. This race was two weeks ago, right? I had a massive blood blister and other blisters on my toes. And um, I was out swimming with my girlfriend yesterday and then we walked on the rocks and it popped and uh, I had to wear really thick socks today because uh, since it's popped, it's actually hurting. When it, was, uh, when it was actually a blister, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, it's really nice when I was doing the Maverick race. Um, some people recognised the, uh, the top from uh, last year's event and said that they'd seen the video and what I thought was really cool is um, some guy actually watched the Maverick uh, video from last year and it inspired him to do the event. So yeah, he, uh, he successfully completed that. So yeah, well done, buddy. Great stuff. And that's what it's all about, this whole YouTube channel. It's just inspiring people to get out in nature and start exercising. So. The fact that people have come up to me and said, you know, it's, a, it's inspired them to, to carry on and do an event, that's brilliant. That's the, that's the whole purpose of the channel. It's definitely a lot better being uh, shaded. Nice under the trees, under the canopy now, so a bit of protection from the sun. I'm trying to train for uh, the Barnstable full marathon in September. Um, I think it's late September. Uh, I've never done one before. I think the most I've ever ran is like 25K. So yeah, we're trying to get some, uh, some longer distance runs in, prepare for that one. Um, another thing I've got going on as well is the, uh, the Croyd Ocean Triathlon, which we're doing a fundraiser for. Um, so yeah, I'll put the, uh, the links in. Um, the funds will be split between Plastic Free North Devon and uh, Addicts to Athletes. So um, yeah, donate if you can, it'll really help um, gain the entry and uh, fundraise for our course. So quiet out here, I've literally seen no one. It's nice. It's 
just the birds. I think that's the great thing about hiking is uh, you can literally just come out somewhere so remote and just be yourself with nature. Just literally be by yourself as well. There's just nothing at all. And it's so quiet. I can hear, uh, as I walk past, I hear all the rustling in the bushes, whatever it is. Yeah, I think coming in from the bottom side of Arlington is so much better. Not seen a single person. No, yeah, you don't pay entry going through the main gate. Uh, so yeah, very nice. Well, I found myself a bench. Can I have a packet, Chris? And a drink. Then we'll carry on. We're going to be heading back up that way. Um, we'll get round to the house then. Yeah, let's see what we got. and some more issues. But it's going to be so hot when I get back out of Arlington later. This needs to be rationed. I could have brought more, but too heavy. I don't want to bring it. So yeah, if you're looking to get into um, hiking um, and you're not sure what um, what routes to take and things like that, I use a, an app called Commute. Um, yeah, really good. It's free to download. I've actually got the... Um, I've bought the Devon and Somerset area. So anytime I plan a route in Devon or Somerset, um, I can actually save the route offline. Um, Cause I've actually got no internet here. I've not had internet for a while. So um, you still get your directions up. You'll probably hear it on the clip at some point. It will tell me to, to turn left or something like that. But yeah, it's a, it's a brilliant app. It tells you the, uh, the elevation. Um, you can see, you can see all different things like surface types. Um, and obviously distance as well. So yeah, commute's a great thing to have, really recommend that one. And then nicotine chewing gum to finish off my lunch. We have 5K in now. Um, so yeah, about, about a third of the way through, 10K left. So you just got to uh, Tucker's Bridge, Arlington Court. Um, we could take both ways now, but I'm just gonna carry on the, uh, the circular loop. Looks like the bit that Frodo was hiding from uh, the bad guys in Lord of the Rings, isn't it? I'm going for a section called Deer Park Wood and uh see no deer yet. It would have been nice to see a deer, wouldn't it? Got some bird boxes on the trees. Moss on the trees. So thick, look. Like. It's soft. Keep right on to path. Park left on to path. Yes, boss. I should have saved some um, 
some geocache routes offline. I've not got um, so I've not got signal, and there's a hole. I think there's like 16 geocaches on this loop. So what is that? So yeah, we um, I should have done that. Don't really think. Come out for a hike, not geocaching really. But yeah, if you haven't seen a geocaching video, go check it out. It's a mixture of trail running and uh, treasure finding. I love all the sounds, are so soothing. It's brilliant, so many different bird song. And down the bottom, you've got the, uh, the river flowing, it's so nice here. Flies are loving that fungus. It's covered in them. Yeah, the uh, the organised hike that we're doing here for the charity in a few weeks' time is going to be um, supposed to be an easier walk. So I think it's a level one walk. So basically, it's going to be about ninety minutes long. Um, I think it was two or three miles. Um, so yeah. I've seen a really cool beetle, I'm going to check it out. So nice getting outdoors again. I love this time of year. Start doing things. I think a lot of people get uh, seasonal depression. Um, and I'm always a bit more down in the... Uh, in the winter, or is it autumn when it's raining a lot? Um, the sun comes out and it's yeah, that's a good mood again. seen a sign that said uh, Jubilee Cairn. So um, I'm guessing that's what this weird structure thing is here. Let's check out a nice bench as well so I can have a drink. Yeah, just over 7K in now. So uh, yeah, about, about halfway. I don't know if you can see in the distance, you've got, um, that's actually Arlington Court just up there. So we're going to loop it wrap round and then uh, head back along the bottom section and we'll come out towards Sherwell. Quite fancy a cake as well. So I might go to the tea room, see if I can get like a, a caramel slice or something. I'm really craving one. Massive. Yes, we have made it to Arlington Court. This is the big house behind me. 
that other membership card and I didn't bring a, bring a ticket because I come in from the, uh, the bottom side. So yeah, we can't get entry, but yeah, it's a lovely place. Let's be into the tea room. Yeah. Let's carry on the walk. We're um, about eight kilometers in now. Um, we're going to be taking the other route back uh, and then coming out towards Lockshaw and Sherwell. So yeah, a bit more to do. These trees about at Arlington, um, I think they're called monkey puzzle trees. I was reading something about them earlier. Yeah, really, uh, really distinct shapes, and uh, yeah, the branches and leaves coming off them are a bit crazy. But look how tall they get. Yeah, I've had my cookie and my Twix, but um, I wouldn't recommend the cookie. It's uh, not the best at all. Get nicer ones from like Subway or... So we started down here. We've come all the way up through Deer Parkwood. Then we went round tea rooms. That's the carriage museum there. And now we are up here. So you'll be taking that red section back down and then back down. really feel my blisters now yeah I've had to wear thicker socks just because of that blood blister that pop but I can feel it on the end of my toes as well and they're only halfway it's quite lonely here yeah? I've got no mates sitting with me The camera is currently charging, so we're gonna head on for a little walk while well, that's charging. Very clear here. There's um there's a deeper bit, I'll probably go for a little paddle. Yeah, National Trust have actually asked me to be a, a walk-in volunteer for them. Um they've got a few different um a few different levels of walks like to do with the steepness and terrain um and obviously distance. So yeah. Um, I should start doing that for them soon. We've got obviously the organised charity one coming up end of June um, and then I should be leading other people as well out on walks.
shorts to dry off. It's not that cold. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, it's definitely should have brought my booties there. Eh? Although the bottom's not too bad, actually. Yeah, getting quite used to the, uh, the cold water dipping now. I had to um, fogging tour not long ago um, with my girlfriend in Dartmoor. Oh, it's absolutely lovely fogging tour quarry. Absolutely beautiful. And do one more dip and then we'll go back. Yeah, cold water dipping is um, it's so good for your mental health. Do it quite often now. Went sea swimming yesterday as well. But it's just so nice uh, being in the cold water, getting a refreshing, uh, even though it's just for a couple of minutes, it's nice getting a, a little dip in, refresh your mind, literally. Good job I brought a spare shirt. I wasn't expecting to go dipping, but Shorts can dry out on the way. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting to do that today, but I can't resist the water sometimes. Be meaning to get out bike packing this. Um, I don't have my mountain bike anymore. Um, so, you know, doing stuff like Exmoor Dartmoor is going to be um, a bit more difficult. But I do have the hybrid with cyclocross tyres. So, um, but the, uh, the frame on that's not very good, as in like for attachments and stuff. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a puzzle working out what to do. But yeah, this summer again, hopefully, we should get out bike packing somewhere. Um, I mean, I do want to proper go do the. Uh, the two moors way that'd be awesome um but obviously you need you need better tires for that you know i don't think i've got the right setup for doing uh two moors way be a lot of hiker bike and uh walking walking on sections that i can't really ride on so yeah yeah we'll wait and see we'll see what comes up see these dragonflies there's quite a few of them look as you 
yeah, coming to the end of it now. It's actually a really nice route. I would like to uh, come back here, actually do some trail running here. That's a route we've done all the way around Arlington. Just coming back now. Yeah, I was kind of kind of hoping to uh, to see some deer, but yeah, no nothing on the route today. Seen quite a few dragonflies, but yeah, no deer. Yeah, maybe another time. But we still got a little bit back. Might see some yet. Absolutely stunning place. That is beautiful. Never been out this way before. Twelve and a half kilometers so far. So yeah, pretty good. I think the route was about fourteen k. So uh, yeah, nearly done now. Yeah, that is one tall fence. Fence is bigger than me, but. <laughs> We are back on the country lanes again. So yeah, back at work tomorrow at the uh, support worker job. Do some editing tonight and tomorrow before work. Hopefully this will be out. And then yeah, if you've got any ideas, um, things you want me to do, maybe park run ideas or trip ideas or anything that might help your, your addiction and your recovery, let me know, maybe do a video on it. So yeah, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. Try to make it a bit different this time. So it's gonna be loads of nature sounds, a bit of the updates about the charity and my personal journey. Hopefully inspire you to, uh, to get clean, get fit and get living. So yeah, cheers for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos up here. If you haven't seen the geocaching one yet, that's quite a fun one. Do a bit of trail running, do a bit of treasure hunting all mixed into one. So yeah, check it out and I'll see you in the next one.